cutie welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm felicity if you are new here and today we are back with the morrison season two episode two so before we get into today's video i do want to thank you guys so 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 much for all the love and support you guys gave me on the first episode of the season i'm so excited and i am so happy that you guys are as excited as i am to have the morrisons back on the channel so i do want to give you guys a little recap of what happened in the last episode so you know we did a lot of introductions and stuff like that and we had a housewarming party and we brought our friends and family together and you know we caught up with them you know and had some drinks had some dinner and stuff like that and late at night Zanea snuck in her high school crush slash boyfriend Mateo and Mateo is someone that Aoki has not met before and I don't know if Zanea is even gonna, ever gonna feel comfortable with her mom knowing about Mateo but we're gonna have to see as you know the let's play uh progresses but i do got a little bit of tea aoki is out here acting like it is summer outside it is still fall and but it's really nice outside today and aoki is sunbathing by the poolside and i do want to say that she had a very rough morning honestly this whole family had a very rough morning this morning as you guys seen by the intro and it's kind of been stressing Aoki out a bit to the point where she just feels so overwhelmed and feels so defeated. As you guys know, her and Zanea has not been having a great relationship just because of things, events that happened in the past with the both of them. And honestly, just moving away to a whole different country without Zanea really not having a say in it at all. Zanea and Aoki have been having a really rough relationship and it's kind of sad, honestly. Another thing thing is is that Elijah and Aoki haven't really been on talking terms and that could really mean a lot of different things but one of the things that Aoki is very scared of is him having someone else that he is talking to and especially just having their wedding let me just pause real quick because there's too much going on but especially with having their wedding be very soon and us going to dress fitting in a little bit it kind of makes Aoki feel a little anxious about her decisions and her life choices and stuff like that and another thing that we did see in the last episode was her errant thoughts about having a baby and she's been wanting to have a child for a very long time and she just doesn't really know if that's really a good thing to have right now especially because elijah and her are not really on the same page and i don't know if they're moving too fast he hasn't even moved in or anything like that what i can say is that we are going to be going dress shopping in an hour or so we also have 24 hours to pay our rent before it's officially considered overdue so we definitely need to go and pay our bill um we have our dress fitting at three um p.m so we're about to just stop girl did you just change a whole different skin to hello girl my girl got a suntan <laughs> oh my god wait is this her tan girl i don't even think that's a tan at that point i think girl you got burnt let me see this tan real quick <laughs> oh my gosh wait Wait, 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 wait. We didn't even get a mood lit. About, oh, got a sweet tan. Aoki is so tan. She's looking so kissed and fabulous. <laughs> no, girl, this is not no tan. You got burnt, girl. You got burnt. Oh, my God. And she's also feeling a little tipsy because she's had some wine at the poolside. And she's feeling flirty. God game like an alcohol-induced Casanova. <laughs> okay. Let's take a picture real quick because... <laughs> I think um, Instagram needs to see our tan. Hopefully they don't clown us. <laughs> now, now game. Like, now game. You did my girl real bad. I can't take Aoki serious. Like, I can't. I just can't. Okay, let's go and add to our Instagram story. Yes! It's like, yeah, I got a new tan and everything. Yes, sun kiss. Mwah. No bars. <laughs> okay, best image ever. See, they clown on her now. They clown on her because that was not no best image ever. I'm gonna go upstairs 
and start getting dressed um, for our appointment. So we're going to go and take us probably just a regular shower and then we're going to come in here and change our outfits. Oh my god, I'm like really nervous to see everyone watch us. Where is the dog? I do want to bring this to you guys' attention that um, Elijah has been thinking about getting a new job, and I did. I'm pretty sure I did mention that in the first episode. But yes, he is wanting a new job, and I was thinking about getting him into, you know, the police officer career. But it just didn't really make sense for that to happen. Oh, and also another thing is, is that Elijah kind of okay. <laughs> Elijah also hasn't been, um, I don't know what it is. Uh, maybe it's because he has, like, he's been wanting a new job and so his mood has been kind of off. I don't really know what it is, you guys, but he just hasn't been the same old Elijah that Aoki fell in love with. But we're about to go Jonathan. Hey, Aoki, we'd love to have you join Misunderstood. Jonathan, you're not even the leader of the group. Zanea has honestly been chilling, but she's feeling very confident because she put on some perfume smelling good. It makes a sim feel confident. And she had her first kiss, you guys. I want to check out her milestones real quick. Um, <laughs> just to see them. But first romantic kiss. Zanea's first romantic kiss was Mateo. Oh, childhood phase. Because she was a picky eater. I'm crying. Oh my god, began puberty. Uh, she fell in love. <gasps> She's in love with Mateo. I did not know that. <laughs> Wait. She's in love with him. In love with the kid. Okay. Well, she is going to be chilling for the rest of the day. Well, not the rest of the day, but... um. Oh, she's feeling a little flirty. This scent is warm, but advocative, advocative and undeniably. Oh, girl, who are you texting? Probably Mateo. Well, we need to leave. We're about to head over. I cannot take this serious, like, at all. We need to put some lotion on. Okay, let's go and um, apply our lotion real quick. I, I don't know if I can do this, y'all. I don't know if I can do this. Wait, what does that say? Wet clothes. Let's take off this tan. Ah! Oh, wait, it's not leaving! <laughs> so we are here so, at... Oh. Uh, okay, so we are here at the bridal shop. This is a bridal haven. And this lot is actually made by me. And this is just a bridal shop that was really inspired by the show Say Yes to the Dress. This lot will be available on my Patreon by the time you guys are seeing this video. So this is Marilyn. She is the owner of this shop and she's going to be fitting some dresses for us today. So oh no, I do kind of want to tell her what we're looking girl. for Emma when Bates. it comes to our dresses. Yeah. Chat about wedding themes. So we're going to go and do that. And I think we do also got a buff. Yes, we got a buff about the bridal shop. So it says beautiful wedding items all around. Weddings are so fun. And let's see what I can purchase. Bro, why are you spying on someone? Like, please get a job. At this point, you got so much time. Like, we have all of our guests here, you guys. So we got Lauren. We got um, Gabby and um, Joanna. And look who we have here. It's a little surprise. So our Aunt Courtney surprised us. You guys, she's from Tom and Rang. If you guys have not watched the Four Rent Let's Play, she is our aunt. And she surprised us because she wants to be down. She wants to be here for a Yoki special moment and getting ready for you know her wedding and stuff. Also brought Casey with us because we want to get to know her a little bit more. Yoki wants her to feel involved in the family and then we have Latoya here as well but I'm so happy about Courtney like she really surprised us and everything. And I think we're actually going to share some photos with her. Yes yeah, so we're going to go and share photos. She's like, yes, girl, so I want, like, a very luxurious dress. Oh, wait, hey, Yoki, it's me, your friendly event, um, event coordinator. I just wanted to check in to see how you were doing with the things we discussed earlier. Give me a chat if you need to talk things through. Yes, we'll be doing a lot of wedding planning stuff today as well. Oh, 
girl, I not her laughing. She was like, okay, yes. I have a lot of dresses in mind that I definitely think will look very beautiful for the vision that you're going for for your wedding. So um, we're about to go and do that in a second. But I wanted to give Courtney a hug because we have not seen her in such a long time. So I'm going to go and hug her lovingly. Ask her how things have She's been. Like, she looks the same, too. Happy um. Aisha. Oh, that's so cute. Ah. So Okay. Like, Courtney, what? This is not our first time seeing each other. Why does she think we're pretentious? <laughs> like, what? Okay, we're about to get this this going. We're actually going to give a toast. We're gonna give a toast to Aoki's wedding and finding a dress for today. Yes. Go away. Go away. Like yes, for Aoki. Yes, Aoki for Aoki. Oh, she's so happy. I love this. I love this so much. Okay, period. All right, so now we're gonna go uh, insult fashion choices. Oh my god! She's like, girl, I don't know about this outfit. It's getting very cheap. And not you talking about my girl. Anyways, let's. Go. <laughs> I do not want no fights. Okay, no fights. Okay, so now we're gonna go and try on some dresses, you guys. I'm so excited. We're gonna say yes to the dress. Okay, we're going up here. Look at her. She's like, okay, so let's take a look. Here we are. We're doing our fitting. And she's picking out colors too. She's like, maybe an orange accent? And it's like, girl, no. Girl, no. So we have the first dress, and I love this dress. Honestly, I think it's my favorite. I think it's exactly what Aoki has pictured her dress to be for her wedding day. So there's like a lot of lace, and it's like a like a fishtail, and I love it so much. Like it is just so beautiful and so perfect. So this is the first choice. So this is the second option, and it's very like floral and like um formal as well and i really like this one as well i think elijah would really love this dress but it's not about elijah it's about aoki today <laughs> and this is the third option and honestly this just gives princess like this is just so so beautiful and i really love this option right here okay so this is the fourth option i believe and Aoki is not really a fan of this option, but her aunt is very much a fan. Um, it's just not really giving the vision that Aoki really pictured. But she does consider one of these as being an option for one of the dresses. This is the fifth and final option, and I really love this one as well. Like the cleavage and the open cuts at the side. Lauren's a little salty, but we don't care about her opinion. But I love this option as well, and it gives like that fish tail. Okay, so we finished up, you guys, and I'm gonna need you guys' help. Tell me which dress you guys think fits Aoki's theme. Her, like, vision of her wedding dress is very like subtle but also giving like that girl like it's her wedding day and she wants to be she wants to pop out okay so she's gonna need you guys' help on which wedding dress she should choose but we are we done <laughs> here and we're gonna give her a hug oh my gosh why why she's annoying oh my gosh she's just like yeah you came from my friend latoya so now we got forever beef but thank you so much <laughs> anyways everyone is socializing over here but we're about to leave you guys go back to the house and see how everyone else is doing but she is feeling very very inspired and so happy about coming over here oh talked of the toast being showered with compliments and attention makes any more momentous day even better oh she's really so happy i love that for her so i want to thank everyone for coming for today so we're gonna go and give everybody some hugs we're just doing all the hugs in the world so we're gonna go and give a hug to oh, joanna 
And I think our aunt is leaving now. Yeah, she's leaving. Okay, let's go and give Joanna a hug and also Casey since they're the two that are left, I guess. Let's give a hug. Aww, Thank you so her. much for coming. She's like, of course, no problem. Oh, that's so cute. Elijah earned some money for his day. Oh, she's like, uh-uh, girl. I don't do the hugs. Okay, well, bye. <laughs> Y'all, look, we came home and Elijah is making us some dinner. He told Aoki to go take a bath and we're about to have some dinner together. Like, he's so romantic. I don't know what he's making, but we're going to see a little later. Um, Aoki is taking her bath and Zanea is here watching a... <laughs> She's watching Kill Bill, um, but she's feeling very angry. Like, I feel like she still has not got over, you know, what happened earlier today. Like, girl, you need to get over it. It is what it is. But we're going to go and send a text to um, Mateo because we're not staying here tonight. Yeah, instead, he snuck over yesterday, and we going to sneak to his house today. Yeah, look what he did for us. Like... <laughs> Stop, he made us some cutlets with mashed potatoes and our favorite wine, one of our favorite wines, like, okay, maybe I take everything back what happened earlier, like, hey, y'all can feel a little like the woman right now, okay, thank you so much, like, ah, I'm gonna reaffirm our love, oh, that's so freaking cute, okay, so we're about to do that. I mean, it's supposed to be family night, but like, I think it's just their night, honestly. Pator, Dobie. Ponka, yips, yips. So. Oh. We can welcome him to the household. That is so freaking cute. We're gonna go and caress his cheek. They know what so. You guys, I'm literally crying. So like, they are the cutest. I want to do a passionate groping. I don't know what this is or what this interaction looks like, but. Oh! 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 <laughs> Girl! Oh! Oh! Is it they? Wait. I wait, 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 wait. I've been thinking about your body all day. Do you want to show me how to? <laughs> I'll show my body and so much more. Is that all you have to say? No. Oh, so I'm just a piece of meat to you? No, perhaps later. Oh, she's gonna say, I'll show my body and so much more. She's gonna, yeah. <laughs> Okay, forget about the food at this point. Forget about the food. Forget about the food. We got a passionate romance. Oh my god. Butterflies in the sky. Elijah feels just a high after that sizzling moment spent with Aoki Morrison. Elijah has a full heart and his head in the clouds. He will be daydreaming about Aoki's electrifying touch for a while. Oh my god. That is so crazy. Y'all, where are they going? Where are they going though? Oh my god, they put it on the balcony! <laughs> oh. oh my god, no, no freaking way. They said scrap the dinner. Okay, scrap the dinner. A scrumptious rump. <laughs> Try holding with the. Okay, no, no, no. Zanae is cleaning up. What is she cleaning up right now? This is so bad. Not, this is not even bad. We're not going up there. We're not going. <laughs> They're not really doing too much, y'all. Oh my god. The sounds, though, I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh, they're kind of cute, though. Is he rubbing her feet? Oh, they're too freaking cute. Zanae is just like, girl, this is the perfect time. Oh my god, she's about to kick the dumpster. She's like, yeah, I'm leaving. She packed her bags, y'all, and everything. Like, she's like, mm-mm. So we have this little bag right here. 
we're just gonna pack our stuff even though we already have our tote bag we're gonna pack some stuff in here so we're gonna go and put our clinique moisture we're staying over at Matea's house so we're gonna put our lotion our body wash deodorant our CeraVe everything in this bag okay we got a cupcake and everything yeah we're gonna put our cupcake in there too we also got our flag woods um we're gonna put everything in there and we are leaving so we're just gonna pack that bag girl she better kick the dumpster and she is out the door she's like i'm just tired of this house i get disrespected here on out and we bring in our dog nyla come on nyla come on Come over here. We're, we're bringing Nyla with us. This is our baby. This is our princess. We're bringing her. <laughs> oh my god. But before she leaves, she's making a statement. Yeah, kick that garbage. Hey guys, so we made it to his house. And, you know, he's like, oh, I'll come outside and stuff. Oh, see, I didn't have to do anything. He's got to compliment her appearance. Like, oh, you look so good today. How sweet. Okay, so he's going to be like, I'm going to go and tell my mom about you. And you can just wait out here. <laughs> he's kind of nervous. Oh, shit. Now, see, this is not even your bed. Like, girl, get up. This is not even her bed. But he told um, Zanea, I mean, he told his mom that Zanea is coming over. But his house is pretty nice. Okay. So, yeah, she's about to just sit here. What is she? No. Just go and sit. And we got Nyla here, too. <laughs> Okay, like, girl, this is not even your bed. Like, your bed is all the way up here. Um, mom, I want you to meet someone. So, he's gonna start, like, talking about Zanea. So, talk up another sim and talk about Zanea. And this is his mom, Daniela Perez. Yes. My Latina. <laughs> But she is like such a cool mom though. She just wants Mateo to like make sure that he, you know, he does what he's supposed to. But she's not like strict or nothing. It says Zanea sounds like she's an absolute pleasure to be around. He gonna be like, okay, yeah, you can come inside now. <laughs> okay, we gonna go over here. Can y'all come in and talk over here? Let's sit and talk over here. So Zanea's here yeah, chilling. She's like feeling a little awkward, but she's very happy though. Like, baby. Look at my baby. They also do have a dog. I don't know where the dog is at though. But she wants to play. And I forgot to bring a toy box for her. Okay, well, I guess she's gonna like introduce herself one day. I don't know. She's just not introducing herself right now. But we're gonna go and put our stuff down in here. Oh, see, look at the dog. Nala, you don't wanna say hey since you wanna, you literally wanna make babies. You want the, some love. And Mateo got a dog named Cody. <laughs> girl, girl. And he's like, yeah, you can just put down your bag and stuff. I think they're gonna go and like watch some movies. He's like, yeah, you can just get comfortable, you know. I got a shirt in my closet. You can just put that on or you can put on a sweater or something. She's like, okay, I'm gonna put on my man's sweater or whatever. Look at the dogs in here. She's like, yeah, I'm gonna find this blue sweater. I'm gonna put this on. She about, to, she about to take a little picture for Simstagram and be like, I'm in my man's sweater. Mm -hmm. She in her man's sweater. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I think he's going to go and pop some popcorn. He's going to come over here and cook some buttered popcorn for Zanea and him. Ooh, she got the best image ever. Ooh. Not family night being awful. Okay, well, they're socializing. Oh, she's gonna... Don't give a rude introduction to Cody. Why would you do that? Let's do a cautious introduction. And then we're gonna go and use the toilet. This is her first time being here. It's so crazy that his mom didn't even say nothing to Zanea, but... I mean, whatever. It's fine. Okay, so she became acquaintance... 
Why do you guys want to give a rude introduction to the dogs? Why? Is it because she's barking? She got a little temper. You're lucky that Zanae and I in the same room because she would have cussed you out. For talking to her dog like that. But um, they're both going to grab a serving of some popcorn. And I think they're going to go watch a movie. So we're going to watch... Um, we're gonna watch Get Out. Let's watch Get Out with Mateo. Oh, look at him with the oversized sweater. Okay, come and sit down. <laughs> They're so cute. Y'all mad for? Come and sit right here. Oh, yeah, she's just like, why are you so fun? Oh my god, why is he crying? Oh, he don't like this part, y'all. I didn't like this part either. Oh, he got the tricks, though. <laughs> Not her finding the, the movie funny. <laughs> no, because why did he get so scared at the, like, the right moment? The right time. What is that? <gasps> y'all. Wait. She's sleeping. So what is that sound? They did not just woohoo, right? Did they just not What was that sound, y'all? I would not be surprised. Listen to Cody's question. What? <laughs> okay. I mean dogs do got their own like, you know, their dog talk. That is so cute. Look at her little face. I really want, I'm sorry, Cody. I'm like all up in your butt. Uh. No, he not liking the movie. He don't like the death. Debate ba best basketball player. He would so do that. Oh my God, that's so graphic. It's 3 a.m. I want to go and have a pillow fight. <laughs> Maybe let's appreciate you. Huh? It's a May. Ooh. has learned the following traits about Mateo yes. that he likes yes. basketball. Yeah, the same. Sydney, the Damn! <laughs> That's me when I'm mad hungry. When I'm hangry, I don't blame him. Well, oh, he's feeling a little tired. I want him to uh, do a little. We're probably gonna finish this though. I think he's gonna go. Oh, it's done. Talk about marriage. Wait, hold up. Hold the phone. Okay, well, they're gonna go and do a little pillow, f uh, pillow fight. They're feeling a little. Oh! Wait, wait, no, no. Oh, he got a just He's been flirty, feeling fulfilled. Mateo checks one more task off the list of things that he wants to do. Oh, he wants to kiss someone. I mean, she's right here. We might as well go ahead and kiss her. Oh my god, you guys. He wants to ask Zanea out on a date. Wait, that is too freaking cute. Ah, uh, and they kissed it over here too. Okay, goals. <laughs> okay, goals. Not the mistletoe. Oh. oh. So I'm not doing this, by the way, y'all. They became good friends. Interesting flick. That movie was interesting. Worth a watch. At least this one. Oh, my God. Okay, let's go and play a little pillow fight. Okay, pillow fight with Zanaya. Uh -huh. I don't know. Like, this is kind of like a little topic to discuss. But, like, I don't know because Zanaya still has her V card, okay? I'm saying that Zanaya. <laughs> they are feeling so comfortable, though, because the dogs are the main characters, okay? The dogs are the main characters. Let's be for real. Not them not having no dog food. Oh my god. But she hasn't lost her V card yet. And I feel like. 
I think she'll feel comfortable if, like, Mateo were to take it. And also, by the way, I don't know if you guys know this, but they're in the 11th grade. So, they are seniors. So, I don't want... Okay, first of all, I don't want y'all to be like, oh, I'm condoning. I'm just saying, practice safe sex, okay, guys? If Zanae so wanted anyone to take her V-card, it would definitely be Mateo, I feel like. I feel like he is very, like, invested in the relationship. But it could just be a little fling. Like, I don't really know, but right now, we're just living in the moment. They is too cute to play in pillow fights. It has 5 a.m. too. Oh, I think she got a new sentiment. Okay, let's open this. First, Sim ever kiss. Very attractive, and they're deeply connected. Oh, they're soulmates. Oh my god. Even though we don't know two of his traits, but he's about to play some music, I think. Listen to... No. Oh, We're gonna turn on soup. some alternatives. Oh. oh, I forgot to show you guys that Mateo got Zanea some flowers. And I found that, like, so cute that he would give her some flowers. <laughs> They're feeling very... Oh, he's romantic. That probably explains it. Oh my gosh, she loves doing that. <laughs> Mateo has a powerful bond with Zanea that is a source of strength and comfort. Oh, they too grown. They is too grown. Where are the dogs? One is licking puddles, of course, of course. It says, felt that spark. The touch that Zanea shared with her lover felt like a strike of lightning. A touch like that could jumpstart a heart. It sent shivers down their spine, and Zanea still feels her skin tingling with excitement when thinking about it. Mateo, what? No freaking way. Mateo, no. No, Mateo. Completely satisfying. Nothing is more satisfying than some nice woohoo. Oh my. Oh my god. Pummeled by pillows, laid low by her opponent. Zanea must now retreat and lick her pillow wounds and plan great pillow vengeance. <laughs> Uh, oh, first will whoever will who for the first time of your life is not something you easily forget whether it went well or not whether it was out of love or curiosity. This was Zanea's first time ever and shall be remembered as such. Oh my goodness. She is feeling the sp flying with no parents. <laughs> no protection was used during this later so who said shit? Oh my god, she made a new friend. We a close connection. Oh, girl. I'm scared. I'm so very scared. No, because they are so freaking cute. But I'm gonna go back over to Aoki and Elijah to see how their morning is going. So we are back in the Morrison household with Aoki and Elijah. And they're actually making breakfast together. Like, how sweet is that? So, I'm gonna actually have them go and grab a drink of this hot cocoa. And then we're gonna go and call to you and eat a yogi. And we're all gonna have some, well, we're both gonna have some breakfast. So, to Aoki's knowledge, um, Zanea is at um, Naomi's house right now. And I don't even know if she would really call Gabby and be like, oh, is Zanea there? Dag -dag. I feel like Your she niece. would. So we're probably going to go and do that. I also want to do some um, custom nuptial things as well. He just steady on his phone. This is why she got trust issues. Oh, he's thinking about moving. Is he, does he mean me moving away from her or? Oh, also like, I just realized that we've had these burnt marks on the floor for so long. And I'm thinking we should just get a maid because like cleaning up this whole house is gonna get too headsick, but we're probably gonna get a schedule. Oh, I confess her attraction to him. We're probably gonna get a schedule made to come in and clean up the house for us and stuff. Oh, he's in wet clothes. 
We do need to do some laundry. Oh my god, not their food still being out here. Okay, and Elijah still wants to quit. His Wait, what does he want to do with his sister? It says Stargaze with Casey. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, so I'm going to have him come over here. And we're going to go and quit our job. We're going to just hit, rip the bandage off the wound and just do it. Oh, we also need to pay our rent. So let's do that first. And then we're going to go and quit our job, y'all. I don't really know what job I want him to really do because... I know the police officer job is not really in his league, and I kind of see him just being in like an office, like a business office, just being a businessman. So I need to figure out what, I mean, well, he needs to figure out what job he really wants to do, but it is time to quit his job as a data administrator, you guys. Elijah has quit his job at Flex Recru Recruitment Agency. He decided it was time for a new direction career-wise. So what is she doing? She's not gonna take a shower. We got our schedule made, Dana here, but she is not coming inside. Uh, not Nyla here. Nyla is. <laughs> how is Nyla here, y'all? I don't know. I don't know how she's here. Oh, Zanea came back home. Oh, that's why. I mean, we don't come downstairs. Use the toilets. Oh my gosh. The land grab shut down our. We paid our bill. Stop. Because we paid it. Don't play. Play bill. Okay, go and pay it. Because what? <laughs> Not our lights shutting off. Did our. No, our water is still good. We need to do some laundry though. Dana, please, baby girl. Can you please clean my house? What is she doing with my. She's like, it does not belong there. Girl, <laughs> how are you going to tell me? You know what? Let's light this. We're going to do a um, soothing sage. Let's do that. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh, my. Are you? F <laughs> Where is the fire? Are you kidding me? Nyla has discovered the fire where oh my gosh I I'm done I'm done I'm done I'm done and then <laughs> I got my sins literally slow down slow dancing while wow, there's a fire like are you freaking kidding me and they can't even get to it like how ghetto is that I can't stand the sins yo I can't stand the sins is my dog on fire? Oh, don't get Nyla first. Get Nyla first. Don't play with me today. Don't play with me today. Don't play with me today. Not my baby. Oh my god. I've never seen this before. My baby girl. Okay, so we're getting a second chance at this, a second try. I want to actually chat with her dad. Um, she has been kind of ignoring everybody in her family, and I feel like it's just so unfair. Especially because her dad loves her so much, and they have such a great relationship. Um, not Latoya being here. We're just going to ignore her, because I don't feel like having any company over right now. We're just going to send her home. We can set up a registry, so I think I want her to go ahead and do that. She just wants to talk to her fiance. And I do want to also mention that... Um, oh my god, we have all these... All this wine out here, like... <laughs> This house is so filthy. One of the things that I wanted to mention was, if you guys remember the last episode in the intro, um, Aoki had a quote-unquote a nightmare, but she feels like she had that dream for a reason, and she kind of been wanting to have a good relationship with her baby daddy, which is Xavier, and I think she's wanting, she's gonna actually call him and 
kind of just have a chat with him about their co-parenting. You know, Zanaya, Zanaya doesn't see her father, like, at all. And I think that... Okay, wait, hold on. Set up registry. Choose what types of gifts for your Sims registry. So we got monetary gifts and we got physical gifts. I'm going to have... Um, Aoki choose both types of gifts because of course who doesn't love no money and who doesn't love like no cute gifts So it says Aoki's registry has been set up time to register for gifts so that the guests know what you want But in the end, it's always nice to get cash too Yeah, hell yeah So I'm gonna have Aoki come up here I know it's raining, but we're just gonna come over here and sit and think about what she really is about to do right now um, It says impeccable taste. Oh, she likes the decor Beautiful, a refined choice. Aoki loves basic decor. Okay, so she's feeling very energized. But like I said before, um, she has been kind of wanting to be on the same page with her baby daddy Xavier. Just for the sake of Zanea, honestly. And she kind of feels a way after having that dream that she wants to just like be cordial. I don't know. Maybe it's like a sign. Maybe not like... As crazy as the dream was like not that type of sign like having a friendly relationship but not too friendly I don't know like she is a generous person so I feel like she would overstep herself but we're just gonna have to see I'm gonna send him a little text message and see if we can call him real quick I don't know if this will be classified I mean this is not really cheating like I don't think Elijah would really classify this as cheating unless he's insecure. And we have a very bad relationship with him. And I feel like one of the reasons why we also have a bad relationship is because Aoki still isn't over the fact that he cheated on her with her best friend in high school. Like, that's just so crazy. And they had a kid already on the way and everything. Like, it was just a, little, a lot. But, you know, as time goes by, I think she will forgive him and kind of just move forward. But since she's been having this errant thought about, you know, having a baby, I think she's going to go and talk to Elijah a little bit more about that real quick. Even though he's in his towel, we're going to go and sit down right here and have a little chat. Oh, he's already about to chat with Aoki. Oh, wait. Oh, y'all, I did not do this. I promise you I did not do this. My sins, my sins, my sins. Elijah, you have this aura of magnetism that consistently draws me closer and closer to you. Aoki looks down at the ground and then up, back up at Elijah. I hope you want me to. Oh, she got the ring. Let me stop. There's nothing I would love more than you, right? Unfortunately, you lack any sort of aura yourself. Jesus, like, damn. Excuse me. I'm sorry, I want you, but just not right now. Okay, he's gonna accept. I mean, they both just some freak of freaks. Oh, Zanaya and Nyla became companions. Oh. oh, she wants to chat with Elijah. I wonder what she would have to talk to him about. Give a treat. Wait, is he not about to go? Hello? <laughs> is he not about? Oh. My Sims cannot keep their hands oh, off each other but they're finally praise romantically exclusive lifestyle she's like maybe you should try it <laughs> oh my god naomi wants to hang out at the nightclub now naomi you know damn well we can't even get in <laughs> oh my gosh this dog She's like, I was talking to Elijah, but okay, whatever, rude much. Aoki treats her like such garbage. Like, I don't know. Like, I just, I think Zanea might be considering just going with her dad. And that would be like a lawyer thing where we have to get Xavier to have custody over Zanea. But she is also grown enough, so I think she could have her own say <laughs> um but let's go and bathe nyla real quick i can't i can't like they don't stop like they don't stop and i feel like since she's been having this thought about having a baby she that's all she wants to do she wants the baby make so bad <laughs> oh my goodness what's a rich shoe oh y'all 
Why are they so loud? Stop. I don't want to hear this. <laughs> I don't want to hear that, please. Oh, oh my god. No, abs. Go. We're going to go call our dad, though, because... Oh my god, boy, put on your clothes. Discuss our wedding date with no clothes on. If you don't put on them damn clothes, boy. Okay, the so they're discussing the date, I think. Oh, uh, he's gonna ask her about her day it's right after she Delby. just, oh, yeah. God, yes, but yes. let's just, um, you know, do it the right way, I guess. We're not gonna try her pregnancy, but we are gonna go ahead and woohoo. Um, and I do have risky woohoo. I think it's on to like 60%. I don't know, but we'll see. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. But we're having a chatty family call with our dad. Oh, they're like catching up. Oh, that's so sweet. You guys know that they are really close. So I love that. But we're going to go upstairs and probably change our outfit. Got that wooing. Oh my god. Eyes wide open. Aoki is fascinated by the exciting view of a nearby delightfully naked Sam. She is nasty. <laughs> I don't claim this girl. Let me stop. <laughs> oh my gosh. Two hearts, one body. Some memories are worth cherishing like the one Aoki just made with their loved one after their intense session of steamy lovemaking full of unbridled lust. Oh, she had a good phone call with her dad too. Pleasant call. Always great to take a few mo uh, minutes to give us some a call. Okay, well, they're about to boohoo, and I guess call it a night, you guys. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and end this episode right here, you guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed it, and if you did, I don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And also, don't forget to leave a comment down below. What do you guys think about this episode? And yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys on my very next video. Bye, cutie.